Howdy. It's Wednesday, August 29th. Tell me how you were doing Wednesday, August 29th at 1.26 p.m. I'd like to know. Anyway, today I wanted to talk about the Melanzana, Melanzana uh, microgrid uh, hoodie, which is what I'm wearing now, obviously. Main reason I wanted to talk about it is because I want to save some lives and that cicada is really loud. I hope he finds a partner if that's what he's calling for. Anyway, the hoodie. People are going absolutely insane over it on the internet. Um, everybody wants one. And I think it's mainly because you can't buy them from their online store anymore because they can't keep up with demand. You have to go to Colorado to get one. And I think because people just can't readily have one, it makes them want it more. I don't know, that's just my theory. What's upsetting me about this is because they're not readily available, uh, People who do sell them are selling them for a ridiculous price, usually. I mean, they retail for like, I think it's either $65 or $75, but people are charging a hundred, up to like $150, and people will spend that much on one, which is, no! And I feel bad that people are spending that much because nothing about this is worth $100 or more, nothing. And I think you all are getting ripped off, so I'm going to tell you right now why this hoodie is not worth a hundred dollars and really why it's not even all that practical for backpacking. <laughs> Alright, so reason number one why I don't recommend this is because if you know about this fleece then I'm assuming you know about ultralight or you're into ultralight or you want to be ultralight and I truly don't think you should even be considering a fleece if that's the case because first of all they're very bulky i mean they are just like taking up all the space in your pack and second of all i'd say on average they're like three or four ounces heavier than any type of puffy you can get so i mean already right there you can save a few ounces just by not carrying a fleece reason number two is if you are into ultralight then you're you're probably into backpacking, probably into through hiking, right? I don't really think it's the best uh, option for that either, mostly because of all of this going on around the neck. I mean, it, it gets hot, at least for me. I get really hot, really sweaty, really fast, and I hated wearing this, I'm not gonna lie. It just felt so constricting and like I was like stuck in my own personal sauna. And there's, I mean, you can't, there's nothing you can do. It's, it's just there. So there's no real option for like ventilation on this hoodie. It's all just solid. I mean, you can slide your sleeves up, but that's about it. Also, I don't know if they've changed the design now because this hoodie's really old. I've had it for a while. Um, but like, you see how the waffle pattern is like fine on the outside, but on the inside, it's all kind of just turned into like a smooth, uh, type of fleece, which isn't as efficient for like wicking sweat away from your body. I wish they, I wish the waffle pattern was like a little bit bigger on these actually as well. This is my fleece that I got in the army. They call it a waffle top for obvious reasons. I wore this on the AT in 2017 and I, I really like this. There's no hood, it's just got like a little collar that you can zip up. And as you can see, you can like unzip the chest area for when you start getting sweaty. And the waffle pattern on the inside is like really defined and it does a really good job of keeping your sweat away from you. Oh and also this has thumb holes. My favorite thing on any sort of layer or piece of clothing ever, thumb holes, and this has it. I also had a Patagonia R1 which I gave to my best friend and she's not home and who knows where it is so I can't show you but it's basically the exact same design as this except there's no thumb holes and it's a little more um, of a athletic fit, it's a little tighter, but this has the relaxed fit of the um, microgrid hoodie, but it comes with thumb holes and ventilation. If you are like determined to have a fleece, I definitely recommend one of these. Um, all branches of the military sell them and you can get them for like really cheap on eBay, like 20 or 25 bucks maybe. They're military so they're built to last, they're high quality, and they perform just as well as any of like the Patagonia or any type of fleece really and it's made out of the same polar tech you know technology whatever they're just really nice and I really like the fit I really like the thumb holes and if you can get over the aesthetics of bland colors then this is for you I mean I wear this on the daily it's like one of my favorite pieces of clothing ever like whether I'm hiking or just chilling at home whatever like this thing 
is always around me. I need it. And apparently uh, these guys make something similar to this, you know, without the hood, which I would be interested to try. But I do really like the thumb holes, so I don't know, I might just stick with that. This thing also comes with a hood. You can like cinch it up, you know, and look really good. <sighs> Some people buy this because they think uh, if they have this, they won't have to pack this and a hat. But, I don't know, I don't really recommend that. Because sometimes you just want to wear a hat and not have to put on the whole hoodie, you know? At least that would be me. Because I wear a hat a lot of the times to keep um, the wind out of my ears and to keep my hair out of my face. Which, I mean, I guess a lot of you probably don't have that problem, but it's just another thing. And so if I already pack a hat, then having this hood is kind of extra useless weight. The last thing I want to say about fleeces is if it's ever like cold and windy, the wind is going to cut right through any type of fleece. So you're going to want to wear your rain jacket over this or a wind jacket if you pack it. But why would you pack both a wind jacket and a rain jacket? I don't know. It just seems like an extra step and it can be kind of annoying. And then when you're wearing your rain jacket on top of a fleece, all of your nice sweat gets trapped in between and it just kind of sits in the fleece and on your skin and it's not ideal so that's another thing to keep in mind if you still want to use a fleece for your main layer uh, while you're hiking. This hoodie isn't all bad though because guess what? It has a kangaroo pocket which is the second best thing you can have on a piece of clothing besides thumb holes so there's that. Um, it is super roomy, super comfortable, I mean free range of motion, it's not restricting in any way, which is very nice. I mean, it's just a comfortable hoodie. Is it more comfortable than your favorite hoodie? Might be, I don't know. As far as I know, it's the only fleece that has that, and I know that's a main selling point for a lot of people. But then you have to ask yourself, will I really be utilizing that kangaroo pocket as much as you think you might be? Because when you're hiking, which you're going to be hiking a lot if you're doing long distance hiking, and if you have trekking poles, they're going to be on those all day. And then like at the end of the day you're setting up your tent and all this other crap and then you just kind of go into your tent and pass out so not really a whole lot of time to be standing around with your hands in your pockets but I don't know maybe if you don't have trekking poles it would be decent. I mean another thing about this hoodie is it does come in a lot of cool colors if you can find one which you probably won't. You're probably gonna spend a hundred dollars on like a gray and poopy yellow one <laughs> but I mean if that's what you want I'm not judging. But they are aesthetically pleasing and they might make you feel cool and hip if that's what you're going for. I don't know, maybe boost your confidence or something. I personally don't give a crap so if I ever go hiking again with a fleece it's gonna be this one. Just because it's functional. What I personally use is the Montbell Thermorap, which smells like dill pickles for some reason. <laughs> uh, anyway, this is a synthetic puffy and Oh, it's a full zip and this is a men's small. I think it weighs like eight ounces or or is it six? No, I think it's eight. So eight ounces, which is less than the microgrid. I think this is like 10 or 11, maybe 12 ounces. I'm not sure. I think it's like 10, 10 and a half. Nemo did a really great review on this jacket, which I'll link in the description if you want to know more about it. It's definitely my favorite. It keeps you warm like fleece and it sheds the sweat like fleece. You can use it when it's wet like fleece, um, but it also sheds the wind. It does a very good job of that and it's super compressible. It's got pockets for days and a nice little soft spot on the sleeve to wipe your nose. That's one of my favorite things. Other than that, I don't have a lot to say. I just want to say thank you again for watching and subscribing and uh, especially for all your kind words. Um, for my dad, uh, that really means a lot and everything you guys did is just incredible and uh, truly thank you. Um, a little update on him, he took a break in August uh, from treatment because it was getting to be too painful for him, he just couldn't take it. He needed time to heal from the surgery they did to remove the tumors and uh, in September he's going to go back and they're going to figure out if they're going to continue with the immunotherapy treatments he was doing before, which is just like a shot uh, once a week into his bladder, or if they're going to do something else like chemo or, uh, you know, whatever they do for cancer. 
So we will find out soon how it has responded to the previous treatments and uh, where we should go from here. I hope you all are doing well. I hope you all have been hiking as much as you can or swimming. I've been doing a lot of swimming. I love swimming. Oh, it's so good. I don't think I'm going to go back to any trails this year. Uh, it just doesn't seem practical and plus the season's almost over anyway. I'm about to start working two jobs now, which is nice. Um, there are things I need to take care of in my personal life, but in the meantime, I'm having a lot of fun exploring Iowa. I've been to a lot of places that I haven't been before, even though they're only a few miles from my house. And I don't know, I've just been riding my bike everywhere and enjoying the summer while it lasts. But I definitely want to take you guys on one of these little uh, local adventures because it is really beautiful here. And sometimes I forget just how beautiful it is in the middle of nowhere. You wouldn't think it, but it is. Anyway, I think that's it. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.